Hello everybody, JamDVA here for another tutorial video thing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to trade Pokemon on Visual Boy Advance. Keep in mind this is only for Visual Boy Advance. Now, this will not work on regular Game Boy games like Gold, Silver, Crystal, and Red and Blue. Those require a different emulator called TGP Duel, which kind of sucks and is a lot more complicated. So we're going to use Fire Red. And, uh, oh, there's the sound. Alright, we're just going to skip through all this. And we are already in the Saffron City Pokemon Center. So I'm just going to get out uh, just a random Pokemon, I guess. As you can see, I've as you can see, I've collected a okay amount of them. Though I accidentally switched to box 2 and they all end up in there for some reason. There, see, we'll just uh, grab a random drowsy. And now, this is. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm actually going to be using the, se the, the, the same save file as this one. There's a way to do that. And if you want to use a different save file, you're going to need to make sure they're in the same location. And that's about the only difference from it. But, anyways. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is for Link, make sure wireless adapter is on. Okay? Because otherwise this will not work. And another thing you need to do is uh, disable pause when inactive window. Actually, uh, We're probably going to want to do that on the second window, because we need to open a second window here. So I'm just going to scale down Visual Boy Advance, so that it'll uh, both fit on the screen. There we go. Let's scale that down a bit. And now let us begin. Alright, I guess that works. And now, you're going to notice here that this is a different save file. Now, uh, basically this is the standard way you'll be trading, most likely. with the Because the save files are in the same location for this one. And I have a different save file automatically set if there's a second emulator open. But if you want to just, like, trade to evolve a Pokemon or something... You can just import the battery file from your other save, and it'll... It won't actually wipe out the other save, I don't think. Though, I'd be careful with that. Oh, and another thing you're going to want to do is, for me, it doesn't make much of a difference, because I was in the same area to begin with. But if you are playing on, say, like... I don't know, maybe you got, like, your last previous save was in, like, outside, somewhere outside a convenient reach of a Pokemon Center. You're going to want to save again when you get to the Pokemon Center. That should be rather obvious. So now, let's go to... Oh, wait. You're going to want to position yourself in the same spot your other game guy over there is in. Now we can disable pause when inactive and see what happens. My computer slows down. Oh well, not much I can do about that. To the Pokemon Wireless Club. Right, blah blah blah. Trade Center. Yes. 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 I'll just fast forward through this. Oh. That one's a lot slower. 
and you're gonna wanna oh you're gonna wanna switch over to this one now to what oh whoops uh, for some reason that's like that I don't know why that's there what? um Oh, there we go. Fixed it. And now, uh, so you have that disabled, do that. And then you join group on this one. Yes, I accept. Now, if you don't want to have to be in, like, the same position as your other player for it to work well, you can also set up a separate joypad, but that's a bit more complicated. So now I'm just gonna do this, and communication standby, please wait, and here we are. Here's my Pokemon team, and as you can see on this one, I didn't save after I got out drowsy, so it's a bit weird, and as you can see, due to the lag, these things are now kind of off. The selector things, but oh, high CPU usage, whatever. Now normally these things aren't going to be off, they're going to be on the same things, so if you want to trade some separate Pokemon if you're not going for an evolution, you can just uh, change uh, the... You can just go into Joypad, hit Configure, and change like the upper left or something arrow key to like R or some crap and it should work but now let's just oh yeah you need to make sure that the window which is set not to be active when paused is always sort of in effect there so we're just gonna choose some random Pokemon I guess uh, We'll just do this. Oh yeah. Whoops. Let's trade. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Now you can speed this up if you want, which I'm going to do because it's taking a while. Animation takes forever. And we are going to get the Pokemon which were previously on the other sides of the screens. And now we're just gonna go down to the cancel. What? Oh, yeah. I think we need to do that. And there we go. Now we can just uh, do this and just hit that. And there we go. Come on, hurry it up. And now we can just close this window. So I hope this has been an enlightening experience for you all. And that is all.